Julep, pap, 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 Julep, pap, 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 pap. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are looking at Top Gun 3 Release Candidate 1, which was just announced via the Twitter page of the folks at Top Gun. So the Top Gun 3 now comes with FBX support and at the same time, they've added a floating license as that is a brand new support for the brand new license server that is coming. Now it makes sense to see that there's a couple of improvements that have been added to Top Gun alongside with the UI. So for those who would like to get this, you might want to download this for Windows, Mac or Linux. You can actually come through and download it, try it out and see what it looks like. And by far, this is one of the coolest tools that you would need for it topology. I've been using Top Gun for a very long time and it's quite an interesting tool. And I'm very excited to see what the final release of Top Gun 3 would bring to the table. And with that said, let's dive directly into Top Gun and take a look at what we actually have right now. Once you open this, this is basically what you would see. It tells you like you have an invalid license. For those who don't have the license and you'd like to try this, what you need to do is just click on OK and then go over to demo mode. So in this case, you can now try this for free and learn how it works before you commit to making the purchase. Now, it also makes sense to note that if you go over here where you have your file, you can import a reference. So Topogon actually makes use of references to get the best out of whatever you're making. So this is a model I was working on previously. And uh, yeah, for you to start doing the retopology, you need to click on the plus sign and you have a set of tools. Now, you also notice that you have your tool options here. You have your scene, your inspector, and a couple of selection tools right here. So to get started, you might want to start by simply placing points. So in this case, we can place a point there, point here, another point, another point, and uh, you know we can do this for as long as we want. Now, if you like to switch to start bridging this, you can go ahead and select the bridge tool and bridge this however you want. For those who like to cut things, you like the knife tool, of course you can cut this from one point to another point and that way you can cut it, press enter to make that happen and you can do the same thing right over here. So this way, it is quite easy for you to cut things however you want. If you like to extrude different parts of your model, you can as well. So I can select this and uh, we can just simply click and drag and I can select this part, we can click and drag and we can simply hit shift and B on the keyboard to get the bridge tool again and we can do this beautiful thing. If you want to simply add one tiny point, you can and you can hit shift and B and you can bridge this part and bridge this part. So you can see how easy it is for you to work with it. Now, if you're very excited about this and you're thinking about, okay, what if I would like to use some strokes to actually create the topology that I'm going for? That is pretty simple because you can definitely do something that's quick right here. So what we are going to do is to go over and select the draw tool. And with the draw tool, you can literally do anything you want in terms of how you get to draw on your mesh. So I can go over to a section like so. I can choose to draw about a point like this. And we can, of course, go ahead and draw a point like so. Of course, this isn't like the right topology, but either ways. So you can draw and let's go in and draw something like that. And we can go in and do this and that. So with all this done, wherever that you have a proper intersection, once you hit the enter button, a geometry gets created there. So this is just going to be a huge time saver for lots of people. And uh, you can use this for a part like this. So we can do that here on the hair as well. So we can go in and make something like so and just simply cross all of this. I'm just going to go ahead and cross all of these to that point. And let's also cross them and cross this. I think we have a little bit of a problem there, but let's cross all of this. And uh, we can do the last one and press the enter key. And once you do that, it simply goes through, calculate this and gets you a good result. Something else, which is also pretty impressive that they bring into the table is this beautiful tool called the patch tool. Now this patch tool is, uh, you know, it might just simply change how lots of people create things. Now the only software that I've seen that actually has something that looks very close to this is 3D code. And how this one works is super easy. It looks exactly like what you get once you're using the draw tool, but this is how it works. You can set the amount of subdivisions that you want. So in this case, we can have that. And we can also click and have something like this and click and have something like so. And of course, click and get right there. And once you do that, you notice it creates a patch. Once you press the enter button or you click on create geometry, you have yourself a geometry. And this is, you know, this is just impressive. And of course you can do the same thing for the forehead. You can also go over to the forehead and we can make something like so. We can click and drag there, click and drag here click and get to this point. Actually, I think we missed that. So let's go ahead and get 
to this point and once you're ready you can press the enter key and you have it so this is uh this is just pretty neat it also makes sense to see that there is a brand new create tool that you can use to create things like circular stuff now this one has like the mari sort of style in the sense that you can create and then you can position your geometry where you want it to be before you you know initialize it on top of the mesh so i can zoom right in and then press the enter key and wherever i position this that is where the circle gets created so from here we can also start doing some more stuff we can go over and get the extrude and we can extrude this part like down there click on this one extrude this down here and simply move this point so i can just go ahead and move this point to that point you know move it to this other position and use the bridging tool to bridge this. So it's just like uh, the perfect tool for lots of things that you might want to consider doing in terms of retopology. There's a shelling tool that is available. And of course, for those who like to also use like the piping, you will like to pipe stuff. There's a tube tool that is also available that you can take advantage of. And of course, if you're thinking about customizing, you can pick up the tool options and you can dot that right over here. One other thing to look at before we go is the brush tool. So with the brush, you can, you know, brush your topology however you want. So depending on how you want to brush your topology, you can. And this is sort of um, model based, not really like brush based because I can zoom all the way out and brush the entire thing. And if I zoom all the way in, you can see it becomes smaller and we can, you know, we can do something like this. There is also a new update or new feature that has to do with masking and converting that mask to topology. So in case you like to mask a certain part of your model and simply hit the topology button automatically and get that topology out, you can now do all of that. And right here within the inspector, there's also a couple of nice things that you might really need, it's, you know, kind of call them time savers. And if you go over here, you can see that we have a couple of things like the select, the deselect, and the most interesting one for me gets to do with the convert. So you can convert some selections and at the same time, you can turn on symmetry. So depending on how you like to work with your model or depending on how you like to do your topology, this is definitely going to come in very, very handy. Of course, within the modify section, there's also a couple of nice tricks up its sleeves. And, you know, I would just simply suggest that you download it, test it out and see what you can make out of it. So this is more like it. For those who like to try it out, you can simply go over to the link in the description that can bring you right over here or that will bring you right here where you can start playing with it. And of course, if you'd like to join the beta, you can simply click on this button and it will bring you back here. So in this case, you have full opportunities of playing with this before the final release is available. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.